I think the first example that comes to my mind is um, actually the CEO of our business banking, Ian Rand. Um, and Ian came from uh, the military um, services. And he said he's obviously never heard of dynamic working before. Oh, right. Because in, in the military, you went where you were told to go. Yes. <laughs> you know? um, so, so when he joined Barclays, actually, he said that um, it, it was a bit of a surprise in getting used to right. saying that his entire team was not always there in, in front of him within, um, you know, within, in the office. Um, so, and then um, what happened was that Ian had a personal situation which needed him to work from home. Right. Um, for a couple of days a week over time, you know. Okay. And that really brought home to him the importance of dynamic working. Yeah. And he said that it really worked. And yeah. the other thing he realized is once his personal situation w was over and he no longer needed to work, he realized that he wanted to work that way yeah. because it made him happier, it made him more productive. Mm -hmm. um, it, you know, it just, it just worked. It, and it worked for the business beautifully. Yeah. Uh, and having gone through that experience himself, he was now, you know, he's one of our biggest advocates, but he also um, sort of enables it very effectively for his team, mm -hmm. you know, because he will get us to have a proactive conversation, ask people to identify what works for them, um, and he's seen it work. So, so you know, that's, yeah. uh, that works. Um, if I look at some of the other ways, you know, they are the usual, some of the usual examples in terms of colleagues working uh, from a remote location, could yes. be home, um, colleague flexing their hours, so, right. um, you know, coming in, um, a bit early to leave a bit early from office uh -huh. or it could be taking the lunch hour off or a couple of hours off during the day to do something that's uh, personally important to them right. and then coming back to work uh, we've also had examples where colleagues have taken um, uh, career breaks so you know um, a colleague of mine was learning Spanish and she was very passionate about being able to uh, be fluent in the language mm -hmm. and one of the ways she identified was to go and travel in South America right. to be able to speak the language in, in, in you, you know with, yes, with in situ it, yeah. exactly um, so as a result of which she took a three months break from right. work um, and she she managed that and she came back and uh, you know that helps her be more engaged at work because she got that, that opportunity mm -hmm. to really um, go and do something that she's passionate about. Um, I, ha I know of a colleague who is um, an emergency foster carer, okay. um, and she says that that's only possible because she yeah, has the option of working dynamically. Yeah. Absolutely, um, and she says you know there's a degree of planning involved, yes. even with the emergency nature of the work. But sometimes yeah. it is about you know having that flexibility to be able to do that. Mm. So, uh, you know, so there are various ways and reasons for which people right. work dynamically and it, mm. it really works within the organization. If managers and colleagues begin to see flexible working as um, applicable or available only to a small section um, of the demographic, then it becomes more of an exclusion rather than inclusion. I understand. Um, it becomes something as an accommodation rather than being a way of uh, working within the organization. Mm -hmm. So the campaign is actually a sort of a cultural change campaign mm -hmm. which is encouraging all colleagues to look at their personal priorities and professional priorities and look at how can you manage the two. Yes. And, uh, you know, we talk about the tools available within Barclays, yeah. but we say it starts with you as an individual and you have, you know, you're empowered to look at what works best for you. Yes. Um, and the idea is that if it works for all colleagues, it naturally benefits uh, colleagues who are on long leave because of maternity or any other reason. Mm -hmm. um, but it creates, it brings everyone together rather than people being stigmatized because they have a special advantage. having support from a mentor um, and then right. sort of uh, a degree of coaching support, if I can yes. use that term, is, yes. is really, really helpful. What we offer right now is colleagues can, um, uh, you know, when you go on to, re to register as a mentor, one of the areas that you can say I can provide support and guidance on is uh, parenthood. Uh, right. you know, and, um, and as a mentee, if you're looking for yes. support in that area, you can go and search for, uh, you know, mentor support in this area, in that specific open. area, yes, and then the tool does an automatic matching and gives you options of a couple of individuals who have signed up as mentors um, with that specialization, and then you can choose and say yes, you know, this oh, works. Great. This individual would work. I would work well with this individual, and yeah. then get the support that they need.